right, David Jem here from the Sierra Green Building Association, along with other organizations, sponsored the Reinventing Main Street event in Kings Beach, California, to educate the local residents about how effective city planning can improve our communities, not only functionally, but economically, aesthetically, and environmentally. First of all, balancing all the various needs of streets. They're not just for moving traffic. There's a whole lot of things going on on streets, everything from social interaction to economic development to mobility that need to be balanced. And it's always within a limited right of way. There's so many studies out there to show that after you make these kind of street transformation, business goes up. In Seattle now, I don't know how many of these four lanes they still have going to be road dieted. It's the business owners that are clamoring. We want to be next. And look how pretty that is. If that was a traffic signal, you'd have no trees, no grass, no flowers there just that acre of asphalt. You can't just think about moving traffic. You really need to think about all these different functions that happen on the street, and not just what's going on today, but what's going on in the future. As part of our continued effort to bring in outside knowledge into the Sierra Nevada range, we brought in three experts who focused on livable, walkable communities in the Sierra Nevada. All of these type of features that you've been looking at today have been developed in more northern climates in general. And it's the cities that are succeeding and doing the best things for pedestrians and bicyclists and livability and walkability, whether you look in the United States or whether you look in Western Europe, is an absolute gradient from north to south. And it's the opposite of what you may think. I mean, when you start reading off the top of your mind, the most walkable, bikeable cities in the U.S., very few of them are in the Sun Belt cities. None of them are. A few, thanks to Michael, are in Florida. Some are in Southern California, but it's mostly places like Wisconsin and Seattle and mm -hmm. Vancouver, right? In mm -hmm. Europe, it's the Helsinki's, it's mm -hmm. the Stockholm's, it's the uh, German cities and all that. Well, they have snow. They have all these things. By putting the median in, we're going to have less snow to get rid of, and we have a median to put it on. Secondly, the planner strip that we're putting on this between the sidewalk and the road um, is going to be storage, right, for your snow. And we're going down from the four-lane section to a two-lane section, you've got less snow to get rid of to start off with. So with the road diet, you've got less snow to get rid of, and you've got more space to put that less snow on. Not only does the, the roadway respond differently to different contexts, meaning your design needs to change to accommodate the different functions, but the roadway also is part of the context and it helps define the place itself. Keep in mind that if you go to a place you really like and you're looking at, you're looking at the, at the street and the buildings and the environment and the landscaping. The street is just as much a part of that place and your view of it, your image of the place, as the buildings are. As part of our Reinventing Main Street event, SIGBA sponsored a community mixer the night before to give the public a chance to mingle with our experts and personally ask some questions. Andrew Ryan is one of the founding fathers of SIGBA and also is putting on the event Reinventing Main Street tomorrow. Andrew, what is your motivation for all this stuff? Well, you know, if, if you've come to Kings Beach and you've, you've gone up and down our one mile stretch there, that's pretty much my motivation. We have a failing businesses there, we have a dilapidated downtown, we have essentially the opposite of the triple bottom line, mm -hmm. which is we don't have a strong economy, we don't have a strong environment, Lake Tahoe use, loses a foot of clarity a year, um, and we don't have a very strong community right now, and uh, by reinventing our main street, we're hoping to change that. So if you took the mountains and the lake away from Truckee and Kings Beach, would you have beautiful cities? So think about the city that you want for yourself. Think about you, a resident of Truckee or the Lake Tahoe area, Kings Beach. Forget the mountains, forget the beauty, forget the tourists. Think about the town that you want to raise your kids in, that you want to have good schools, good hospitals, good parks. You want to be walkable and bikeable. And then let the food traffic and the tourists figure it out for themselves. Hey, this is a great place. Instead of, we need to get through this town as quickly as we can. I've done over the years quite a few roundabouts where uh, they've added within the main street, at the end of the main streets, to create that people-friendly environment so that uh, you know, the cars, the same number of cars or more cars can get through, but at the same time they do so more slowly, which makes it a lot easier for pedestrians and bicyclists to use the street. There's always been streets, there's always been people on streets. We've let the cars dominate the streets about the last 80 or 90 years ago. So it's really going back to the primary function of the street, which is not just mobility, but it's also access, interchange, uh, exchanges, 
people meeting and talking to each other and honoring the community, so the businesses and the residents that are on that street. So it's not so much getting people out of cars, but recognizing that a good street can serve many functions. One of the biggest things that came out today was that roundabouts are kind of solve a lot of these downtown problems through traffic flow, on-street parking, and pedestrian traffic. Top three favorite things about roundabouts? Reduce crashes. I've had too many people that I've known who've been T-boned at signalized intersections with people running red lights that, you know, it just had to be a better way. Uh, secondly, actually make intersections look pretty. And, and can actually make the community look pretty. Okay. And thirdly, they can handle a lot more traffic with less lanes than a signalized intersection. The Reinventing Main Street event was a huge success and lots of fun. Be sure to check out our events calendar at www.sigba.org to see what Sigba has coming up next.